Heavenly Awakening, good afternoon and good night to the beautiful entity watching this video. It's your boy Divine Messenger. We're back with another message and understand before we even get into this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more Divine Messages. And this video ain't going to be too long because you know I have to go coaching a little bit, but I just wanted to make this video because it crossed my mind and I feel like Spirit gave me a Divine Message because a lot of people who are ignorant, that's the thing to it, ignorance. It's like ignorance it's provided in so many varieties that many people can't even categorize how ignorant that they actually are. And we had to actually tell the truth about this stuff because there are some people who are, they live in ignorance to the point to where they let it overshadow who they really are. And it's not really them. And the thing is too, by you watching this, you're probably the one who's awakened. You probably have people who are unconscious around you. You probably have unconscious family members and you're trying to help them become conscious or you have an unconscious sibling you know, mother, father, whatever the case may be, friends, co-workers, it's cool. Thing is, ignorance comes in all shapes and sizes and all forms and formats. The thing is, you have your certain truth and that you have a certain level of truth that you reside at. And unconscious people or their unconscious demons, they will make sure that this unconscious person does not get to be at a level that you are at. So you probably have like certain friends, right? Like you can be talking to friends or whatever. And let's say you have a man or a woman in your friend group. A lot of times, if your friends are gossiping about somebody to you, about somebody else, what makes you think that your friends aren't gossiping about you when you're not around? Because of that, you have to always like use a sermon when people are talking because a lot of times too people who are they try to be smart but it's like when they're smart around a smart person it's like they'll they'll hold back their thoughts you no know, they'll shy away from their thoughts and that causes them to be nervous or they'll say never mind to their thoughts whatever the case may be so you have to understand no matter what who gives a fuck about what they think about you because no matter what when you're not around them they're talking about you for a reason because they can't comprehend you and the thing is too ignorant people always have something to say about you no matter what you do so no matter what Keep on living your truth and keep on shining your light no matter what truth that it is. Because no matter what, people are not born to comprehend you. So keep doing what you're supposed to do. And the thing is too, it's like no matter what you post as well, people will always comment, you know, their perception about what you're posting. The thing is too, you can't... Why is my beard in my mouth? Pause. The thing is, you cannot fear what people think about you. Because no matter what, even if you do, if you do nothing, they'll judge you. If you do something that... If you do something, they'll judge you as well. So no matter what you, what, no matter what you're gonna do in this world, people are gonna judge you regardless. So you cannot fear that nor shy away from that. So by you watching this, you gotta understand that you have to keep on spreading whatever it is that you have on your mind, and don't be shy to be confident within yourself. And on top of that, you're not arrogant. The thing is, you just believe in yourself to the point to where you know what you're talking about, even though you're unconscious. And because of that, people will fear that, and they fear that because you have so much power. On top of that, it's like. I don't know how this person is getting this information. I don't know how they know these certain things. And it's like, if you're able to articulate somebody's closed-minded thoughts, that scares them. If you're able to comp to... If you're able to comprehend somebody's unconsciousness or if you're able to if you're able to comprehend somebody's demons that scares their demons because it's like damn i've been living in this egotistical program for this amount of time in my life and especially if you're young if you're young too come on man if you're young close-minded people who are older than you or younger than you though they'll, they'll judge you because it's like and somebody called me too i do apologize for that but they'll they'll judge you to the point where it's like damn you know this person's younger than me but they know so much more than i more than i know and they can teach me more than what i know so it's like the fact that they're actually saying things that make sense and i can't even tell them that they're wrong even though that they're actually right and wrong it's like that shuts them up so it's like you're playing chess with their mind and they know that but they can't even they can't combat it because it's like that makes them feel stupid so if you make people feel stupid don't feel don't feel bad about that because that's up to them to do the research and they don't want to because they're lazy so it's because you put in so much work behind closed doors you need to be happy because you have reaped and sowed the fruits of your labor you put in the hard work while they were sleeping while they sleep all goddamn day or they're lazy they're always on the internet or they're always watching videos all day and they're just stuck in their room you are putting in work, you're outside, you're getting nature, you're talking to the creator, you're going within, you're, you're posting content or you're doing whatever business that you have going on, you're an entrepreneur, you're doing books, you're doing things that can benefit your future and you help people who are older than you build for their future as well. So many people who are older than you, they will hate that because with the younger generation, they know that the younger generation has more access to the internet than what our elders have or what older people have or had. And because of that, when somebody young comes into the picture and they are teaching them things that they never knew but was always there, that makes them really ask themselves, what have I been learning my whole entire life? Ignorance. So when 
a divine person or when God walks into the room, people will sense that energy and that presence and they'll be like, damn, I need to get on my shit. You actually do, God. So no matter what, it's like you can't sit there and like get upset because people can't. You can't sit there and get upset because people can't comprehend your own divinity because they're ignorant. So it's like no matter what you're preaching, no matter what you're learning, there is no truth to information in this dimension. So no matter what truth that you're trying to find, people will always say, oh, you're wrong about this or you don't know this or you don't know that. Or this person does this behind closed doors. Or, I don't like how they do this. It's like either way it goes, ignorant people will never be able to, to tell you how they feel about you to your face because they fear your presence while you're in their face. So it's like when you're in your face, they'll always kiss your ass, they'll always uplift you, they'll always give you compliments, they'll always try to help you. But behind closed doors, when you're not in their presence, they're gossiping about you. On top of that, excuse me. On top of that, they're talking about you behind your back because they know that they can't say it to your face because you irritate their demons. So no matter what you do, keep on irritating their demons and don't stop being who you are because excuse me in this whole dimension we gotta understand that we're all programmed to a certain subconscious thought process or a certain subconscious realm of entities that share the same hive mind that we share and because of that certain people are programmed to think at a lower level than what you are residing at and because of that that makes them uncertain to what they are doing so it's like you can help people get to a certain higher enlightenment than where they used to be at but because they don't know where to go they'll go through you but the thing is too people are leashing off of your energy and they'll always think that they can help you or do things for you or they'll do things to where they can they'll they'll try to force things upon you because they can't do it themselves do not let closed-minded people tell you what to do with your life you do what you want and they can't comprehend that or if they don't like that Oh, well, who cares about their feelings? They'll be all right, literally, especially grown-ups. Grown-ups are the most egotistical people in this dimension. That's exactly why kids are better than adults because they know more than adults. But the thing is, though, they can't articulate their words. And certain adults can't articulate their words either because they are childish, literally. On top of that, if you are a grown-ass person, if you're older, if you're over the age of 20, even over the age of 30, and if you're about to be 40, 50, 60, whatever the case may be, if you are gossiping about people behind their back, I said that way too fast. If you are gossiping about people behind their back and you cannot, you don't want to, you don't have the balls to tell this person to their face, you are a pussy and you are also operating off of a level of fear and hatred and envy and jealousy. And because of that, you will not get the benefits that you are looking for. And you will not also be able to reach the higher enlightenment of heaven or your higher self or almighty God. And that's exactly why you have reincarnated into the same exact cycle right now in this lower dimension of heaven or hell or school because you cannot seem to stop coveting against your neighbor you cannot stop first of all and you're, what's crazy you are disobeying a commandment on top of that but you love almighty god if you love almighty god why are you gossiping about people who do not know that you're talking about them behind their back and if you are talking about someone behind their back and you see them the next day it's like it's crazy too so it's like we're unconscious people they can gossip about you behind your back but then when you enter their presence the next day it's like nobody knows what even happened. So people will act. So it was crazy too. There's always a middleman or a middle woman. So somebody who despises you or envies you or they're jealous about you or, or your gifts, they'll gossip about you when you're gone, right? Now, the next day, the person who they gossip to, they'll, so it's like, so for instance, like, let's say it's like five people or three people in a friend group. There's always those one or two people who are hearing what is being gossiped to them about and it's a gossip to them about you. So they hear what was said about you. So now when you enter their presence, it's always a, hey, how you doing? How's your day? You know, how's everything been? Then it's like, they're all trying to be buddy, buddy. But it's like, spiritually, energy never lies. So it's the fact that your spirit knows that like, I know you were talking about me, but it's the fact that, it's the fact that now y'all are trying to be buddy, buddy, and act like nothing even happened. But it's like, I know what happened. And it's like, you're trying to sit there and lie and be friendly. That's what, that's why it's hard to trust people or consider people friends or family. Because no matter what, even your family will talk about you. Even your friends will talk about you. So are they really family? Exactly. So it's like now these people are not really your family because their demons are not able to comprehend your frequency. So people are not at your frequency. So for example, the seven chakras, if you if people reside at the root chakra, the sacral and the solar plexus, literally at your, your dick, your vagina, your belly button and your, your, your gut. If people are operating at this frequency and you reside at the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye and the crown, if you operate at that and be beyond the crown chakra, 
they will hate that you're at that frequency. So it's like a level like this. So once they see that, that you're actually up there, they envy that. So they'll talk about you. But the thing is, though, when somebody's beyond the crown chakra, they can understand the frequency that you were talking about to them because the spirit will use discernment for them. So it's like you can't talk about God behind God's back. Why? The all-seeing eye is everywhere. And on top of that, if you, and what's crazy, many are called, but few are chosen. So if you know that you are chosen, Almighty God will tell you like, hey, these people are talking about you. So when you confront them or when you're in their presence, they'll get quiet or they'll start changing the conversation or it's crazy. They won't ever admit that they're actually talking about you because they fear you. So no matter what, when you are in the room, never, never shrink your frequency for somebody else's ego. Always remain to have a higher enlightenment. Always be who you are and always be authentic within yourself. Because no matter what, people fear your presence. People fear the way you talk. People fear the way you think. People fear the way that you go in depth with certain things that people can't articulate. That's what makes you beautiful. That's what makes you divine. So no matter what it is, with men or women, you need to check people's egos whenever they're trying to talk about you behind your back. And if people are gossiping about you behind your back, and if they will never tell you, that's okay. Because karma will get their ass. On top of that, that's exactly why when they talk bad about you that's exactly why they come right back and reincarnate into the same exact hospital and that's exactly why they're miserable that's exactly why they hate their life and they can't look into the mirror and say that say that they love themselves or give themselves compliments so no matter what you do you keep living your truth and you keep being beautiful and you keep on re remaining heavenly in your own embodiment no matter what satan will always use people that you know or you don't know to hinder your growth so keep posting that content if somebody comments something ignorant who cares Keep on doing your truth in person. And people will say, man, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like the way you talk about this shit. Who cares? Say, I appreciate it. And keep on loving your truth and keep on doing you. Because no matter what, people cannot stop what God has ordained for you, almighty creator. So no matter what, love yourself and love how you're, love how well you have developed. And no matter what, always go with them and appreciate people when they hit on you or when they gossip about you. Because the thing is, when you're not in the same room or in the same party or the same frequency as them, they're gossiping about you because they know no matter what, they can't comprehend who you are and they hate that you are the way you are and they can't be who you are. So they try to be who you are or they want to be around who you are because they don't even know who they are themselves. I love you. Have a great day, God and goddess.